Okay, in this lesson I'm going to talk about your routine that you can use for your short game. Now, what I'm going to introduce to you is a see it, feel it, hit it routine. Now, I'm going to go through each of those stages and how I would use them. The first stage is see it. Really important when you're hitting any shot, especially short game, that you visualise your shot. I want you to see the shot, I want you to look at your lie, see what kind of lie that will produce. Think about the trajectory, how will that be affected? Think about the trajectory that you want. What about when the ball bounces? What about, is it gonna break? I want you to assess all those things and visualize a successful shot. So, I'm gonna look at my ball, and I'm gonna see the shot. Now quickly, I've got a shot in my head. I know the shot that I want to play here. The next stage would be, feel it. So, if you've pictured a low shot, you need to get into the setup to hit that low shot. If you've pictured a very high shot, you need to get in the setup for a high shot. So it's important when you're in the feel it stage that you use your setup. The next thing, you've got to plan your length of swing and the speed that you turn through. So I'm going to do that by having an imaginary ball. I've got an imaginary ball right next to the ball that I'm going to hit here. I'm going to take some practice swings and I'm practicing the length of my swing and the speed of my turn. Now what I'm trying to do is get the feel for the shot that I've got in my head. Now, that first practice swing there, that felt okay, but I definitely thought that, that was going to be short. So I'm going to take a longer swing. Okay, that's better, that's great now. Okay, I'm happy. So now I'm going to hit. the shot. So those were the three stages that see it, feel it, and hit it. I'm going to do that, I'm going to go through those stages. I'm going to hit a lower shot this time, but I'm going to go through those stages without talking. So. Okay, notice that I only took two practice swings. It's not important that you take the same amount of practice swings. You can take as many practice swings as you want until you get that feel. Now most of the time I would expect you'd be between one, two, three practice swings and you'd probably get it. On a really tricky shot, you might take quite a lot of practice swings. You might even take up to ten practice swings. Now you shouldn't really do this all the time, but on a really tricky shot, it's okay to spend quite a bit more time in the feel it stage. If you watch professionals on TV, when they're faced with a really tricky shot, they've got a lot of practice swings. They're figuring out, they're trying to get the feel of that shot that they've pictured in their head. Okay, go and have a go.